Okay, gay. First time recording an intro that you set up. I'm so happy, man. Really happy. Put the logo, put the rift or the opposite. Have a full HD camera now so you can count the hair in my beard. Anyway, guys, for this game, someone came on Twitch and asked me, teach me how to play Trin the Mirror. I was like, you know what? Just for you, next game, I'm gonna do a full focus, fully educational content on how to play Trin the Mirror specifically, not just like how to play the game, which I do most of the time with my tool, which is Trin the Mirror. Like everything here was Trin the Mirror focus, so I'm sure you can learn a bit from that. Also, it was a really interesting game with different patterns, different places days were losing then winning then losing what fight macro micro late game early game etc it was really good educational content i hope you guys like it feel free to drop a like a comment or a subscription if you haven't already and you do like the content and i will see you at the end of it much love <laughs> so the question was um Teach me how to play Trinomir, not teach me how to play the game. So I'm going to try to have like an approach about everything that I say or, or I talk about being Trinomir specific. Um, and I'm going to do it from Champ Select because the game starts in Champ Select. Um, so the thing about Trinomir is like whenever you're playing a champion, you need to think about its identity. Champions have a champion identity. For example, let's say, okay, Diana, what's her champion identity? Well, it's in it's an AP, like she deals AP damage, but she's also like melee. Um, so so it's like a melee AP damage dealer, and she's an assassin, but she's not only an assassin; she could be off tank, etc. Uh, so that's not fully her her identity. So she's really good at uh, big team fights versus like stacked comps. So now you already know that okay, it matches with Oriana, it matches with. Uh, Yasuo, it matches with Malphite, etc. Uh, but she's also really good at split pushing. It's part of her identity. So, so yeah, it's 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 kind of like what the champion does, you know. It's like in in a few phrases, uh, is it a good scaling champion? It's not a good like scale. It's a very good champion that scales up and deals uh, either on hit like AD or AP damage. So it's like kind of hybrid and that thrives on XP, for example, just like Orin thrives on XP, like it's 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 plenty of sp specifics. And Trindomir, what's Trindomir? Um, well, it's a ball of damage. That's it. That's your little ball of damage. And you go fast on the map. Because you can, you have your E, you dash through walls, you reset E with creeps, etc. And you're going to build a lot of uh, movement speed. So you're just a tiny ball of damage that goes through the map. Uh, so already you can know from that that uh, you're really bad into hard CC, you're really bad into lots of armor uh, because all you do is deal damage. You're really bad versus lots of range because you cannot close the distance. You're, as I said, like you're a small ball of damage, you're not a long ball of damage. And of course, so it means because you're a ball of damage, it means that you're good at speed pushing, you're good at doing different things, at flanking, because then it doesn't matter that you're a little ball of damage because you deal big damage. So what you need to is actually to be able to deal your damage. And that's pretty much what Trind is. So you, you keep that in mind all the time. And then you're going to approach matchups, gameplays, game plans uh, based on that. Because if you're a ball of damage, but you're not applying damage, you're a ball of nothing, you're a ball of vision, then you're worthless. You're just a moving word. So you need to actually be hitting something as Trindomir to make use of your champion. Also, we're going to finally play the right runes. So I'm thinking that, okay, it's it's either Gregas or TF Top. I'm going to actually use my Demolish that much. I don't think I'm going to use it that much. And if I'm against TF, I'm going to get harassed a lot. So I'm going to consider playing Revitalize, Second Win and Revitalize. You can go Second Win and Demolish if you think that you're going to be able to actually make use of that Demolish most of the time. Here, I want to survive laning phase uh, and behind HP and survive his poke, basically. The rest of the runes, I almost never changed them. Uh, who did you learn Trin from? I learned Trin from playing a ton. At first it was, it was Fogged, uh, JC, if you're an OG, uh, then Rangers, and then just playing the game. I got coached by a Jugbox Challenger player who doesn't like plays a bit of Trin, but he's a Shaco player. Uh, I learned from... Um, I got coached by Ranger, got coached by Frappy, my performance coach and coach on League, also who's an ADC. Uh, I learn, I teach myself. But yeah, Ranger taught me a lot, but I try not to take everything he says for granted, you know. Keep my mind open. Um, my macro is dog shit. Okay, I'm gonna focus on macro later on. So now, 
regardless of the champ, we're going to do the thinking, but I'm going to do it kind of according to what Trin wants to do. So first thing first, like you have a Shaco in your team. When you have Shaco, he wants to put boxes here. So often enemy team wants to deny the boxes. So here I'm looking at level one. Are they strong? Would they have Tarik? If they come as five with Tarik and gold cards on TF, we cannot actually defend uh, his, uh, his boxes. So it doesn't make sense to stay in that bush actually, because if they're coming from behind, I'm probably dead. So I'm going to put myself in that bush. Or even that bush, because... I mean, Trinomir is pretty good at uh, catching invades, you know, because you can just E away. I can E on the gold card. Um, okay, well, they don't seem to, they don't seem to be invading. Uh, most of the time on Trinomir, you don't want to leash, because getting level 2 first could be a way of winning your lane. But against Twisted Fate, I don't think my plan is going to be to get uh, wave 2 first, but I don't think it's, it's pretty awkward to give a leash to Shaco, so I'm actually not going to do that. But you get the idea, it's only in matchups where you actually don't want to have the prior, you don't want to have the push. Like Timo, like Vayne, these kind of matchups. Okay. I mean, then if this happens, you know. Well, I missed something really important. The idea of buffering my E on his gold card. It was pretty hard because he was in meta range. But I'm going to show you what I mean on his next card. The gold one. Well, it's not... Well, I don't know what he's doing, if he's skating to me. That's what I mean. Yasu, 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 you have prayo. Yasu. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, that was pretty weird and it's not supposed to happen, but I mean, if it happens, it happens. Uh, the wave seems to be actually pushing to me. It's very close, but I have gold to spend. I'm gonna spend it. Well, that was pretty weird. Something that I, could, I should have done probably was because like he was uh, looking to tempo his gold cards, which was pretty smart, and he runs as fast as me because of his ghost, so then he has extra slow, so it's all about my E. I got a flashed on him. When my E was about to uh, come back, so I could like follow his flash with my E after the words. Yeah, it's it's pretty close, but I guess I got the XP from the kill. Didn't. Okay. Well, we didn't manage to do the whole thinking, but basically Greg has good into my champ. Uh, TF, actually good, but manageable with trades. So you need to think about the items you want to buy as well, so you know, like, on your bases, what you're going to go for. I'm actually concerned about... And so, so here, like, like, Kraken is only good if you can go for extended trades, you know, hit 3, 6, 9 autos, etc. Well, the thing is, into their champs, they seem to be more like squishy champs with mobility. I got Giga close. Uh, maybe, maybe with the other pot. I think I could have killed him if I went instant. If I just like, kept the the trade going. So about limits, like you need to keep in mind that the lower HP you are, the more ID you have. So sometimes you can actually like, turn trades around, and also like you're really good in extended trades because of lethal tempo. With all lethal tempo, would have killed him by the way. Um, and then, like, if you want to learn how to play trend, you need to go for these plays to kind of limit test. At some point, like it kind of felt. Right, try to, to go for it. And I, the thing is, I hesitate too much, so he got his Q again. If he didn't, I actually get him here. It's my bad. Um, also, the fact that he didn't have a ward. It's okay, so we're just gonna fix our wave. Um, what else can I say about Trint? Something really important is the fact that uh, you're very sum dependent in ghost to ghost matchups. And here, for example, like we have we have our ghost on the same timer. So if I'm a ghost, yes, he's ghost, so I'm not gonna run faster than him. So then it depends on W. So you're gonna try to see how you're gonna guarantee your W. And well, I will show you that. 
if I can later. Yeah, I'm just I'm just like making sure that he doesn't go on grubs. Basically, I'm, I'm not stronger than him. I cannot help grubs by getting the prio. He got the freeze. He's ahead in levels. Not items though. So I can still look for something. Mm. So you Can I crit? I don't think that kills. Oh, that's so close. Spree. I'm just gonna... I kinda wanna get cannon to and reset, but I mean, all of these minions are gonna die. They're pretty low. Further reset. And I also have nothing crazy to purchase. So you see, that's that's what they meant. Like you, you need to use your E as a buffer on many stuns. Here, if he's gold carding me, but I'm I'm Eing during the stun duration when I'm not being stunned, you know. I'm actually moving. Um I should have probably found a base at some point here. Also, something about Trindamir. Sustain. You have infinite sustain. So if you can you can go for trades. And you trade like, the same amount of HP, it's often gonna be really good because then you can just like all sustain long term. Well, I didn't think that would be the focus. Okay, so now I'm thinking about level six. Can I go in at level six? Well the issue is that he moves faster than me. Because it's tier two boots and I don't even have tier one. But I still feel like shit could happen. Uh, I kind of won't defend that, but the thing is, if I go there, yeah, TF got six, and he can just like match me. Uh, TF has six. I don't think I don't think we should contest that. I don't know if we contest that. Well, I should have pinged harder. Like, we should have just not contested that. This is not on me. Yeah, I should have pinged it. That's my bad. I just said I had six, and I thought that would be enough. Uh, it's okay, though. It happened. So now finally I'm gonna get the base. And regarding your bases and your items, it's gonna be really important to understand um Well, what do you need? As I said, your little ball of damage. That was the premise, you know. So now can I actually hit my damage? If I can hit it, I want more damage. And if I cannot hit it, I want to be able to hit damage. There, for example, I cannot hit my damage on someone who has a 45 extra move speed. So I need, I need move speed in order to be able to deal my damage. And then I'm going to pay an extra dagger because I'm building straight. Uh, what do you do when the wave is fucked like it is? Well, it depends. Like sometimes you can fix it by taking damage in the minion wave. Sometimes you can fix it by not fixing it. If you cannot fix it, like you shouldn't try. And you just like start roaming on the map, you know. Try to make plays. Uh, now, I'm not sure if he used something during the play on the invade. If he did, I can kill him. True, I forgot about that. But, okay, my ghost was bad then. But this is still really good though. He doesn't have TP. And as I said, like we traded a lot of HP, both of us. And he burned a pretty big cooldown. But the thing is, no. I'm getting my HP back and he isn't. 
can even look for plants. Know that thing is here. My bad. Didn't check on items. Didn't realize he had the full eclipse. I didn't realize this guy had seven kills. That's on me. If he's fed. Maybe he was able to snowball from uh, that one kill that they gave him. I think they can look. She should be dead here, no? No? Hello? Seraphin? It's okay. I sh I it's okay. It's not me. Um... This looks like really weird to me. I don't know how he's allowed to do that. Um, well, we get to breathe a bit and now I'm thinking that, okay, I'm not winning. I made plenty of mistakes. What if... That got super close. Um, what did I miss here? Yeah, I, when I flashed it, I thought my W would, would have hit. I thought my W hit and I flashed it close the distance. Yeah, I got really close. It's fine though. The idea is like I want to keep staying relevant and by staying relevant, like I need to... As I said, like hit something, you know? I cannot just like stay under turret and deep push waves. I mean, I could. Sometimes it's going to be the best play. I don't think it is here. So I thought like I could I could question mark him and go for a proxy. And if Zin comes, he comes, you know, at least he's not on my team, he's the fat guy. Yeah, that was pretty close. Uh not gonna I am probably gonna do the same thing. But the thing is like without old though, he can probably just kill me pretty as Go for a plate. Well, I can go through walls, he does he cannot. Okay. Well, you're not gonna end up going for proxies every single game. But sometimes when you're behind, it's actually really good to go for a proxy. And the good thing is that in between wave, as I said, your your ball of damage that goes fast on the map. So you can use the fact that you go fast on the map to look for camps, to look for rotations. Just getting mid, mid prior real quick. Yes, who doesn't have TP yet? Well, I did a big mistake. That's, I mean, big mistake. It's it's a compound of mistakes. But on Trinomir, it's really hard to play games when you're behind. Because it makes you pretty useless if you cannot just go on a side lane and, and beat your opponent. But there are still ways to be useful, and we're gonna try to go for those.
Maybe the Tiamat was enough? Let's go. Tiamat diff. I should probably go and push mid real quick. Uh, these minions are falling. Okay. Well, that was decent. I stayed way too long on the map. So we had the time to take our bases, pen gold. I'm gonna push here mindlessly because if actually Xin comes. It means that we're getting Herald, you know. Yeah, really good. So if he's on bot, he's not on Herald. That's a really good play. And now we're kinda back actually. Jeff has Kraken, has trade. Yeah, I can look to kill him. Okay, nice. We're back in it. Mm. And now I'm actually gonna consider Kraken. Still. I'm actually gonna consider Kraken because I feel like we might end up uh, having to team fight in that game. My team is actually in a position. We have a, like actually a decent combo uh, between Yasuo, Seraphine, and I have an ADC doing fine. And in team fights, well, I'm gonna be hitting uh, Zinzao most likely. I'm gonna be hitting Tarik maybe. And for these guys, it's gonna be really important that they have enough damage. Okay, he ghosted. So, boom. Okay. Well, I was able to deal my damage. Uh, so, so basically, you don't want to stack your slows whenever you have straight breaker. You want to make sure that... Well, if I was still in straight breaker range after the gold card stun, well, I was trade breaker first and then Q. Zin might come to me here. But again, my team is making a play mid. I'm happy if he's on me. And if he isn't. Yeah. So my team is, it has a lot of space. Mind is like this guy has two items. He's the only one with two items, by the way. He's he's the dangerous guy. So I've been thinking like I, once once I realized that he was pretty big, I decided that I would become a space maker. And Trindomir is a lot about space making in terms of macro. That was a pretty good macro example. No, I'm not dangerous in that fight. I'm just I just want to give out space. I think, I think we should be careful, we should just reset here. I don't like, I don't like that we're staying. Okay, and regarding the macro, Trindemir, also, we talked about it, you really want to, you really like to um, have flanks, have a flank angle in team fights, and in order to have flanks, red trinkets is gonna matter a ton more than yellow trinkets. So you know that you're not seen on your way, or you know that you're seen and then and then you take another route, you know. Uh, it's gonna matter a lot that you get that red trinket. I think Seraphine can defend that wave by herself. Should be fine here. Ah, she didn't manage to clear the, the minions. Like here, for example, like here I'm not gonna rotate, but that would be a really good example of when you want to red trinket so you know that they don't see you now i know that they see me so yeah straight first boom i got a ghost good enough my, my dc is not here looking the junglers already and now i can ping that smother has no ghost uh there's a drake we should just like instant instant drake uh, if Yasuo is not going to take mid prior, I'm going to take it myself. Mid prior, giga important. Up, and then we're going to go Drake, and then after Drake, I'm actually going to start my base now. I think they don't need me for Drake, they're getting it, and enemy team is not contesting. And I have my second item. Uh, please, we need, we need vision, we need vision. We need vision. 
I'm gonna go there. They might be sneaking. They might be sneaking. Hello. 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 Team. Hello. Okay, they're not. They could have. I know I go bot. So I actually want to be bot, but here I felt like they could have went straight. Like we saw small dart up. We saw Terry go and get vision. Uh, and we didn't know where Zin was going after his base. So there was a pretty big chance that... That they were just going to sneak Nash. Yeah, I don't want Yasuo to be on side lane. I want me to be on side lane. Why? Because I actually win sides. Okay, three of them are bots. This is really good. It means that we can have some space and get some vision around Nash. Now that's that's the challenge. Like you, you need to think perma about what's the next objective and how you can impact it. I see four mid, so it's only TF, and I beat TF. Now I'm concerned that TF might ult if my team is going a bit too crazy. So I'm actually gonna hover. Okay, well, I was thinking, you know, that getting T2 would be would be pretty good. It, it's a lot of gold for my team, and that's that's a good use of ultimate. But I guess they all fought and died on that timer. That's not on me though. If I'm able to consistently like take objectives, it's gonna be pretty good. But they died. Let's see. Someone matching. I will actually keep my mouse here because most likely if I see someone, I'm just I just wanna ear away. He's ghosting. You know what? I'm actually not gonna ghost. And he's flashing. This is really good for me. This is really good. I don't want to match his, his sum. He kills me here, but it's not going to give them much. Like, okay, maybe they take T1 bot, but they're going to get it uh, like anyway because, because they have Nash and it's just a T1, like it's going to fall. He doesn't get T2 from that, but what, what he does is that now it's going to be really, really easy to kill him on the next play with a Ghost and Flash advantage. So the thing is, you don't really want to be splitting... On the Nash timer, that's the only issue that I have with that. But still, like taking his sums before the objective is, is so so good and not burning your own. It's yeah, pretty nuts. Now I'm pressing at tab and I'm looking at items and I'm seeing a frozen heart and Gregas, which cucks me giga hard. Uh cucks Yasuo as well, cucks this guy. So I guess that's why. I am your worst nightmare. That's why he has a frozen heart. Okay, getting pinned to your vision. Kaysa is speed pushing for some reason on the Nash timer. What's that about? Okay. Well, you see, a red trinket denied a lot of vision. Can fight this. I'm just trying to not give a, a kill to, to Zen. Okay, we secured Drake here. Let's go. So Red Trinket did the ton here actually. Allowed me to catch to catch Smolder. 
I don't like that case, I just like perma Perma pushing side wave. No Gregas. Okay, oh we got Navori now. Um Storm Razor, I don't think I don't think I need Storm into that guy. And as I said, like I, I still wanted to have some damage for their front lane to be able to, to fight these guys. Uh, and Storm doesn't really give you that. Just take a lot of move speed. Um, would you come? Uh, why not shop top since Yasuo is bot? Because I don't want Yasuo to be bot. Like that's that's the thing. That's bot lane is where I want to be. Because and Yasuo cannot just go and 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 kill the Twisted Fate, for example, and take T2 the, the way he did. So if Yasuo is bot, that's a mistake, and I want to chase him away from bot. Now, if Yasuo decided to stay bot and commit to that, and like I'm not gonna be stupid and, and co-split with him, but I'm trying to bring the raid right play to them. Like you don't need to, like your team is not gonna define how you play the game. Like you need to know what's the best way to play the game. Uh, please, Yasuo side and you group. It's been like multiple times that bad things happen because of that. It's okay, well, I got his ult. And now what I'm thinking is that... Maybe I can collapse. So even if... Greg, like, they're 5v4 alive. Well, if I... Collapse here, it's actually 4v4. Okay, now we shouldn't, we shouldn't force it. Oh, nice. We just dropped a flash now for nothing. But why is she perma side lane? I hate that, man. No, 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 no. I have to go. The most likely. Okay, I was gonna say the most likely don't have vision here. They do. I am your world, Wait, my push. Okay, my team is basing. I'm actually going for a slow push now. Makes no sense to push the wave hard and create a pressure point if my team cannot do anything with it. So I'd rather be safe here and try to stack a bigger wave for when my team is actually on the map. The only issue about that is that they have time to prepare for an answer to my push. And now my team is on the map, and now I'm actually creating pressure points. Check with basing. Oh shit. Or face checking when my jungler is basing. Okay, this is really good. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Did they cancel the bases? Nope, I guess not. Well, I get plenty. Wait, all on the map. Don't die. Don't die is the play. Okay. Well, yeah, turn the mirror. It okay, I guess it's jungler for jungler. But I mean, I legit, like, it's not just don't die. Not more than this, just no death. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe move speed is actually not too bad of an idea now. It could be PD, but it could actually be Storm. I mean, go Storm here. Because I'm going to pressure side lane. And... Well, he almost kited me. 
Also, see, like she's gonna have a flash advantage. Also, is he not max iron twin? Is that still a thing? Uh, not really. Like, okay, I need to find the reason why he didn't put a point in R. Sometimes I don't put it because I know that I'm not gonna use my R before my next point. I don't know if it makes sense. You know, if I'm gonna get another point before my next old duration. Well, I'd rather like not put the point in it. And you should do that on every single champion. It's not only trains, just like no one does it for some reason. My jungler man. Why are we in a hurry exactly? Like why, why do we have to take it when they have smaller ends in alive? We just like ah, it's okay. So yeah, I, I think like if you're gonna use your ult on CD you should put points in ult if you're not gonna use your ult on CD or shouldn't. That's that's how that's how it is now. Yeah, without ult, I cannot do much there. Also, I can just die. I'd rather, as I said, use my ball of damage to deal damage. Now, though... Yeah, we can maybe look to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh... It's a bit sad that Chico really wanted to go back for it. Maybe I could have eaten on uh, Xin Zhao when he was feared with the Chico box. And killed him real quick. Maybe I could have. Not sure about that. Hate having AP Chico, man. Oh shit. Can she stop? Pushing side. Okay. Well, it's really mirror, like you're not you're not the engage. You're gonna need to wait for something. And here, for example, the something could be Could be the Seraphin ult, for example, or Smolder walking on. I trolled so much, I was not looking. I trolled so, so much here. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. If I was looking, I could have, okay, yeah, I could have eat away earlier and then not die to TF. It's okay though, we defend that. Um, well, it's probably time for armor pen. Still, in case I fight these guys, but also like it's just gonna be good into everyone because at this point, like everyone has like natural armor. Uh, the numbers. Okay, we saw Zin are pretty high. So basically, when you have uh, with AP Shaco, like you need to take the position first and just play off the boxes. But I mean, it's it's like so hard to do. Oh, they never were trained, even new animations will suck. I agree, I, I like trained the way it is. I actually like the fact that it's it's very old champ, very basic. Uh, yeah, but you need to ult him. Uh, they, might, they might end the game now. Okay, 
I can look I can look for the wave. Okay. I would be I wanna wait for a Seraphine anyway. Yeah, I want their attention to be split. Okay, pretty good. As I told you, like from the start, you want to look for flanks, you want to look for being in a position, you know, and waiting for something, most likely. Okay, let's see. Next objective is Nash. Well, the thing is, I can threaten to end the game pretty easily on Nash. And, well, I'm just going to do that, you know. There's no point in clearing that word. It's not where they need vision. Uh, who can stop me? Well, the thing is, like, Gregus can actually stop me. But TF can't. So I need to make sure that it's only TF, of course. And now my A's are on the minimap. Like, I haven't looked at my screen for, for quite a long time. And it's all minimap and counting. And... I'm going to see where my team is. They're doing... Just showing here. I don't like that I see no one. I see Zin. He cannot be by himself. Wait, TF ulted. Okay, this and Gregas. That's smart by them. But the thing is, I can actually ignore it. The Gregas. And they probably don't know that they can do more than that. Uh, that I can't do more than that, by the way. It's okay. Okay. Shut down. Maybe wait me, you decide. Like here, like it's a 4v4. They can maybe do something. Maybe they should wait me. I'm letting them decide if they feel confident or not. If they've actually... Oh, if that W hit, man. Seraph in late game is pretty OP. Okay. She has ult but she has no mana. Oh, it's so sad, it's a mana issue. Okay. Well, that's a pretty long game. Um. Wasn't this troll even if you... Oh, sorry, I didn't see that message. That was pretty long time ago, Marcos. Uh, wasn't it troll? Well, I feel like the thing is, if I don't kill the Xin, what happens? Can I fix the freeze? Nope. So I might as well, like, if I'm getting frozen old, I might as well get frozen on and kill the jingler, you know? 
So I don't think that was troll. That was a long time ago, I don't know if you're still here. Hey, yes, in Indra. Wait, I should let her see us in full stuff. I guess, I guess we're both full stuff. <laughs> Oh shit, 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 man. They eat there. I didn't think they will woke up that much. Okay, let's not do too much. I'm gonna get vision, I know that Zin is around here. Also, I'm, I'm looking a lot at my W whenever I'm like doing that kind of plays. Like here, I was checking this bush with my W and the other bush with my well, with the vision plant. I think my team could consider coming top here. Oh, this guy, this guy. That was so troll by him. What's he doing? What, what TF did here? Backdooring a single like in What the fuck was that? GG! That was a fun one! That was a fun one. Okay. Well, that was, like, and that was actually like pretty dense in terms of turnover things, you know? Because you're not always gonna be ahead. You're, I'm like, I'm not gonna show you all the time. Like, yeah, you do this, and then you have one kill, two kills, three kills, and then you snowballed. Like, games are gonna be like, like this, you know. But as long as you play according to your champion's identity and you understand what it is and who can, like, yeah, you need to understand limits. But the thing is, you're not gonna understand limits unless you try them. Just kind of like what they did on Zin early on. And every time you saw me do something that worked, it's because I tried things that didn't work in the past. I don't understand that. Uh, so yeah, very far from perfect this game. But worked. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck and have fun game and in your life. And I will see you next time. Peace, bye-bye. Much love. <laughs>